Jesus in the house. Like a fox, I'm out of the blocks. If the heart knocks, I face roadblocks. Praise God, I'm still standing. I'm loading my cannon and planning. Thinking I have to go back. Lord, I want to help another brother. That Satan is blind and trying to smother his dreams and making it seem my enemy's the white man. That ain't white and I'ma throw a toothpick. The ones that get hit is the ones that get pissed off. I go to another level. My Bible's like a shovel. I'm to the devil. I watch you rebel when I never settle down. Hey, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> What's going on, people? Where to do? This your boy, Seven for Adam, back to you with another video, man. Come on, man. You know I had to do it. Hey, yeah. Y'all already know, man. We lost a legend today. You know what I'm saying? Ah, thank God for, you know, Mr. Solo, man. Definitely a legend in the game, man. Um... Man, <laughs> he was truly blessed, man. He really was. Um, that man was just so talented with his rhymes and his flow, man. He was definitely top tier. Lyri Lyrical wise, he definitely one of the top tiers, man. So, um, of course, you know the news out. You know, we lost Mr. Solo today from the Gospel Gangsters. Um, I don't really know how he passed. Uh, I think I, I seen where they say T-Bone was the person that um, put the news out. And, um, yeah, man, it just kind of just happened out of nowhere, you know. So, um, man, I just want to take this time and just salute, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Solo, man. I was a huge fan. Um, my favorite Gospel Gangsta album was the second album, Do or Die. Man, that was, that's my album, man. <laughs> Um, I think their most famous album is probably their first album, which is the Gain of um, Affiliate album, which also was a great album. Um, but like I said, I like to do or die. That was my favorite Gospel Gangsta album. Um, but um, praise God for Mr. Solo, man. He he did a great work as far as what God had him to do, you know, on this planet. The times that, you know, he did, you know, his his ministry for, you know, for the Lord. I don't know what he was doing as far as the local, what he was doing with the local church or anything like that. You know, um, I'm quite sure he was still, you know, ride with God and ride with the Lord and all that. So, you know, praise God for him, man. Uh, I think the last time we heard from him as far as music wise was in uh, 2013. But the last time I heard them was 2013, when uh, they came back and did an a album called Defenders of the Faith. Uh, I think it was just him and um, Chill. Him and Chill came back and did the album together. But um, I just want to give my own, you know, my dudes a salute to a man, to Mr. Solo, man, a huge legend in the game, man. Uh, I always wanted to interview him. You know, talk to him about some things, man. He, he seemed like he had, you know, a story to tell, man. And I, I haven't seen a lot of interviews. Or I don't think he put out a book or none of that, man. But I know he really had a story to tell, man. From coming from the gang life and then, you know, start following Christ. Um, I just know his story was just amazing, man. The only thing I ever remember from him was um, back when um, I think the Soldiers for Christ, it was some type of documentary that they did back then and I remember I think um I think it was Suit. Suit the chemist had went to their house and they all got together and prayed man and then they were telling him about some music they were working on, you know what I'm saying? So um that about the only thing I can remember from him, you know, on the internet, just seeing them just, you know, conversate or talk outside of just music, you know? But um Man, he was truly a legend, man. Um, one of my favorite verses from him was the verse of um, the Soldiers for Christ. Um, was it the Phase 3? Man, <laughs> that verse he put on there, I can't remember what the name of the song was. Um, dang, uh, 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 let me see if I can look it up right quick. You know, I, I hate the... 
I hate to uh, talk about something and then can't remember the name of the song, but um, I know in the album they were going by the lines of light at the time before they became defenders on uh, gospel gangsters. They were called lines of light and on uh, kill the spirit. Man, the verse he put on kill the spirit is so hard, man. That's one of my favorite verses from him. Um. I'm trying to think, uh, just trying to remember some things. Um, let me see. Oh, the verse on um, Why Can't the Homies Hear Me. That was, that verse he put on there was amazing too, man. So. got so many you know so many legendary verses that i know you know what i'm saying that yeah, praise god for him man you know i know he's up there you know rejoicing with the most high i can't wait to see him on that that day that we all be with the lord with all his children man you know what i'm saying so all glory to the most high god man and uh salute mr solo again man um uh, praying for his family during this hard times um <clears throat> And you know, just all glory to God, man. On um, the solo road with the king to the day he died, man. So I want to salute him, the legend. He will live on as long as we still alive. He gonna live on, man. So salute to Mr. Solo, man. Gospel gangsters. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long album, huh? I'm finna lay my head down. I got to get some sleep. Me too, dog. We got to say our prayers first, dog. Huh? Oh, that's right, homie. Kick that gangster prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I'm praying the Lord my soul to keep it by having to die before I wake. Shoot the Annie Christ with AK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chill, why you like getting the that. flesh all the time, homeboy?